Let's find the derivative of the function f of x, and which is defined in terms of an integral. It's an integral from x to pi, square root of 1 plus secant t dt. You don't need to worry about how to integrate this part, because when you are trying to find the derivative of an integral, ftc1 says derivative will cancel out the integral. However, before we can use that, we should make sure that look at the limit of integration. Let's look at the variables that we're using, which is x. Right? Because here we have f of x. And we should have the expression in, that's in terms of x on the top rather than on the bottom. So before I can use the FTC1, I would like to use the property of integration. f of x, this right here, I would like to switch this to limit. Instead of going from x to pi, I would like to go from pi to x. I really have to have the x on the top rather than on the bottom on the bottom. So I can switch that. But when you are trying to switch the limit of the integral, what you need to do is just negate the result. So uh, let me just write this down right here. 1 plus secant t dt. Nothing else will change. When you switch the limit of integration, all you need to do is put the negative in front. You just have to negate the integral. And here we are ready to go. I would like to get f prime of x, which is, we are going to take the derivative of this integral right here. So that's the negative integral from pi to x, square root of 1 plus secant t dt. And inside here, the variable that we're using is t. And the number doesn't matter. What you have to do is to take the derivative of the integral Look at the expression that in terms of x, which in this case just x. Plugging x into all the t's that you see right here. That's all. So we have, don't forget the negative. Negative stays the same. Square root, the 1 stays the same. Plus secant stays the same. But instead of t, you are going to use x. And that's it. Especially if this is just x, and then you have a number down here, that's it. This is f prime of x. Nothing too tricky, the tricky one will be the next question.